I've been fascinated with this sort of notion that, and, it, and it's happened to a lot of celebrities and a lot of people I know, that you can be in a nightclub and someone can access your phone and download the entire photographs, whether, whether the route is Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. It was really quite extraordinary to me, and this sort of sense of, of data mining and data gathering and, and things that companies like Facebook do and, and, and people developing your metrics and all these kind of words and technologies and that, that, that are a, a part of what we do every day now. Um, paranoia touches on that and and we really sort of put a magnifying glass to it in the movie um, where whereas our hero Adam is is surveilled from every possible I mean there are 23 cameras in the apartment he was given alone that are all hidden in walls and you know people are tracking him through his cell phone they can listen to his conversations um, it, it really it highlighted to me how pervasive this stuff is We have Nicholas Wyatt, played by uh, Gary Oldman, and Jock Goddard is, is played by um, Harrison Ford. Now, they, um, so Nicholas Wyatt was a protege of Jock Goddard. If you imagine a huge technology company that makes smartphones and, and, and a whole myriad of techno different technologies, um, they have a falling out. One leaves, starts his own company, and they've been mortal rivals ever since. And it is... Uh, it is truly, uh, they're truly out to destroy each other. And Adam is sort of this little pawn caught in between them. I loved uh, working with Liam in that, um, this sort of effortless sense of professionalism. Um, he may seem like sort of, you know, the cool surfer guy from Melbourne, uh, from Phillip Island in, in Victoria, but He's actually quite a uh, a well-read and thought-out, but we well-thought young man. You know, he he he, uh, he 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 cares. He cares about the project. Cares about the character. He really resonated with him. I think it, for someone of his generation, sort of watching what we've been seeing. You know, with sort of how our economy has been lambasted and and, and it's now on the way back up. But um, it it. It just, it really resonated for him and it was wonderful just to watch him blossom. I mean, he was really, he's really engaging and, uh, and he had the respect of Gary Oldman and, uh, and uh, Harrison Ford and Richard Dreyfuss. The scenes we filmed with Gary, Liam um, and Harrison were, 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 were amazing. I mean, the sort of the energy in the room um, and I don't know if you've ever had the chance to watch Gary Oldman work or watch Harrison work there's this sort of this this sort of ramping up that occurs that that's electric and can be quite intimidating for people on on, on the set you know but it's their process and um, it's 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 fascinating and it was just interesting to see Gary and, and Liam back to, uh, sorry Gary and Harrison back together after so many years I think it's topical, I think it's timely. I think the voice of this sort of what we call lost generation or the millennials is, 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 is reflected in it. Um, I think that, um, you know, all the bling and all the greed and all that, it really isn't all that. And, um, you know, that's something, that's something we, say, we, we, we really were careful not to to indulge in. I mean, it's, a just, it's just a different world today and paranoia is a, a slice of that world.